This is my last chance. If this doesn't go well, that's it for me. I'm gonna just start selling real estate and call it a fucking life. When I'm at my best, it's when I'm just having fun. And I think people in the crowd see that and respond to it. A lot of this stuff I've been doing for damn near a decade, so it'll be good to just get them out. It's never gonna get better. It's only gonna get worse. So you might as well just put them out there and yeah, hope to God that people watch and like it. Make some noise for Simon Gibson! Clap. Clap right now. Clap right now. You're freaked out. Uh, that was the music I requested to walk up to. What's happening back there? It's my big moment! That is also the theme song for the last two years. Am I right? Fucking, it's horrible out there. How you guys doing? Give it up for all the comics you saw. Yay, Yay comics! Yay, comics! We love comedy! Yay. Give it up for this uh, person who will be kicked out momentarily. Give it up for them. <laughs> I want him out of here now! <laughs> now you're fine. Give it up for stand-up comedy as an art form, huh, folks? Come on. Give it up for stand-up, the most respected, well-paid art form there is. Come on, I'm rich as hell. <laughs> give it up. Give it up. Everyone give up. <laughs> Let's so all give it up right now. We're in the shit. <laughs> give it up for, uh, give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a, what are you doing? Give it up. Give it up for uh, just waking up, seeing your own reflection and just being like, no, bah, blood. Nom, nom, nom. Give it up for drinking your own blood, folks. Give it up for drinking your own blood, huh? <laughs> Not for that one. Not for that one. That's where we draw the line. Okay. Give it up for improv. Yeah. No! No, you don't! I'll always shit on improv because they're all attractive and happy. Okay. Damn, nobody likes improv here. Okay, good. Good to be here. You guys are, uh, this is a hot crowd physically. Physically, you're all very attractive. Thank God, because crowd last night, fucking ugly. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to make ugly people laugh. I only want to make hot guys with long hair who look Swedish in the front row laugh. I said, if there's not a hot Swedish looking dude in the front row, I'm not doing it, okay? If he's not in the front row, I'm, I quit. I quit comedy. I'm quitting tonight. I might quit either way. No, it is good. To, it's great to be here. Who's drinking tonight? You guys drinking tonight? Oh, I'm drinking tonight. <laughs> you better believe it. I'm going to have a few sips on stage. And then after the show, I'm going to have a few more sips. Oh, yeah. And then after that, I do want you to know, sir, that I am driving for Lyft. I'll see you out there. <laughs> All right. No matter how drunk you are, you're never too drunk to drive for Lyft. That is their slogan. This is a nutso town. You guys are absolutely insane here. I love it. I fit right in. Started smoking a lot of weed during the pandemic. Anyone else? Anyone else smoking a lot? Of, yeah. 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 I do call crystal meth weed, so that's my thing. And I keep gaining weight. I don't know. Oh, I got fat. I got fat as hell during the pandemic. Anyone else gain some weight during the pandemic? All right, yeah, the hottest guy here just said he gained weight. <laughs> Fuck you. It's always the hot, thin ones who are like, yeah, I gained two. I gained two pounds. God damn, between these front row guys, I'm not even looking at the women you're with. I'm just captivated right now by these two guys. It is absolutely insane what's going on here. 
she's loving it so much. Are you guys are you guys married or? Well, after tonight, I think you will be. I am an ordained minister. You want to get married tonight? You want to get married tonight? No. Okay. No. Well, you got your answer, buddy. That's fine. You'll get there. You'll get there. I gained some weight. Big whoop. I gained a lot of weight during the pandemic. A lot of people made sourdough bread. Guess what? I ate it. How are you? I did start working out. Started eating right. And I am proud to say that in the last few months, I have lost over 30 pounds. Yeah, come on. Give it up for that. Have a heart. Have a heart. Have a heart. Yeah, it's not true. It's not true at all. <laughs> this is the fattest I've ever been by far. <laughs> I mean... Even if I had lost 30 pounds, though, I was looking at you guys and you were like, yeah, but more. Um, <laughs> whatever you're doing, do it, but more of it. Nice. Man. I can only see the front row, but the back? <laughs> you guys are pretty cute, too. <laughs> you guys are pretty attractive. I'm going to hit on everyone in the crowd individually at some point, except for you two, because I'm not going to get canceled. Okay. <laughs> I will only hit on men tonight. I'm only hitting on straight cis men tonight. You ain't getting me! You ain't gonna get me! <laughs> I just have a heart attack. You ain't gonna get me! Ah, fuck! I knew I had to start losing weight because one night I came home. I came home with a DiGiorno Mini and my girlfriend, my totally real girlfriend, by the way. She exists. <laughs> Don't look it up. She goes to another school. Let it go, okay? <laughs> Drop it! But yeah, I came home with the DiGiorno Mini and she started crying <laughs> and looked at me and was like, I wish you would be healthier. And at that moment, I was like, all right, Simon Gibson, it's time to shape up and fly right. And uh, to me, that meant uh, waiting till she fell asleep and then eating it in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Fan on. Lights off. DiGiorno. That's their uh, theme song. <laughs> Pretend it's heroin. I hope we have this woman snort on audio because I'm going to sleep with it tonight. We got any veterans in the crowd? Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whatever. Make some noise for the veterans. We, yeah. We're gonna need them real soon. We're gonna need them real soon. We, there's a lot going on. But I'm, a, I'm actually a veteran. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. A lot of people surprised by that or just straight up don't believe it. But, but yeah, I am a veteran. I did 15 years in the service. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, 15 years in the service, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Customer service. Customer service. Okay. Because there's no business like customer service business when you got a fine arts major degree. I fucked up. You know, I did work in customer service for a long time, and I think everyone should have to work in customer service. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah right? I met, I met some of my best friends, some of the most creative, artistic people that I've ever known people that I still talk to to this day. And I think there's also nothing more satisfying than working your ass off at a bar or a restaurant and just walking out with a handful of cash, you know? There's nothing better than walking out with a couple hundred bucks that you know you're immediately going to spend on bloop, blap, bleedly do. <laughs> you know, plee, blow, bloodly blow. It's all going up here tonight. If anybody here has squeedly do, I'll do it with you, squeedly plow. <laughs> Couldn't bring my own on the plane. This is going on the special, by the way. Me asking the crowd for bleep, blap, bloop, bleedly plow, bloop, blow, 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 blow. <laughs> but I do think everyone should have to work customer service because working in customer service teaches you the most important skill in the world. You can immediately spot a piece of shit. <laughs> and I just showed you right now, it's anyone who orders and does this with their fingers. Anyone who orders and does this, dangerous fucking lunatic. 
because this finger motion comes with an insane command and no tip, okay? I worked brunt shift for years. Uh, and, um, okay, sorry. Oopsie! Sawy! Baby burpee! I need alcohol to feel funny! Sawy! I am actually sorry I burped in the mic just then. <laughs> My agent uh, back in Hollywood. <laughs> it's like she hates when I burp into the mic. She's like, Simon, baby, for the love of God, you got to stop burping into the mic at these shows because it makes you look like a piece of shit. <laughs> she says that to me. And I say back to her, I'm like, you know what? That is a hell of a thing for someone who's not even real to say to me. How dare you? How dare you, Sharon? My fake agent's name is Sharon. It is me putting on lipstick in the bathroom mirror. How are you? I'm just like, <laughs> you're gonna make it. Ah, punch the blood again. It always starts with this. It's always like, let me get, let me fucking get, let me get. I need an almond? I need one singular almond? Chai? Somebody just screams chai. But I need that almond chai dirty. I need it so dirty. I'm a dirty little bitch. I'm a dirty little almond bitch. I've never said bitch into a microphone before. Felt great. It felt really good. Felt really good. Yeah, give me an applause break for saying bitch. You know, my... <laughs> Didn't expect it. My last job before I got rich as hell was, uh, <laughs> was I worked at a, a grocery store deli. Oh, God. I don't know. What, what's the local... What's your, like, grocery store chain here? Oh, I've been to Wawa. Oh, my God. What a fucking place that was. I went there last night. I got, I bought $40 worth of sandwiches, and I saw 40,000 fights. It was... This town is absolutely batshit insane. It's truly the most wild city I've ever been in my whole life. It's just like, sandwich, punch, sandwich, punch. It's fucking lunatics here. You guys have to legalize weed because you gotta chill the fuck out here. Seriously, you guys are absolutely nuts. This is when I knew I had to get out, is when I had somebody, I had a customer make me move a pile of potato salad from one side of the bowl to the other and then scoop from the bottom because she wanted it fresh from the bottom. I need it fresh, I need the freshest from the bottom. This is how you know you fucked up in life, okay? It's when you're looking up at someone from inside a refrigerated deli case. There is nothing more humbling than just being like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Horrible angle for me, by the way. And I'm just like, uh-huh, is that okay? You see your own breath? fogging up the glass of the deli case. You're just like, uh -huh, is that good? Is that good? And she's like, I want point six seven exactly of red dill potato salad. You fucking shrimp dick. No talent piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mom, you gotta stop coming to my work. Okay. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. A very famous celebrity did that to me one time. He did this to me. And um, uh, legally, I can't tell you who it is. But I give you some hints. He was in Brokeback Mountain. Taylor Swift just wrote a 10 minute song about him. And it's Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, oh, that son of a bitch. I've been talking shit about Jake Gyllenhaal for a decade now. In real life, Jake Gyllenhaal is, he's a fucking bro. He's like any other bro that you see 
on South Street or wherever you guys go. I, I'm trying to make a local reference. It did not land, but... <laughs> He was such a bro. You know when someone's a super bro that they walk in and you can, like, hear their shoulders? Does that make sense? Like, he walked in and he was like, psh, 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 psh. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Let me get a non-fat. <laughs> Let me get a non-fat. <laughs> Let me get a non-fat cappuccino. <laughs> But bone dry, and then he kicked his hips out and poked me in the nose. And if you guys don't know what a bone dry cappuccino is, congratulations, you're good people. Uh, a bone dry cappuccino is just a shot of espresso, and then on top of that, a steamed cup of farts. It is just all foam, it hurts your tummy, it's undrinkable. Not to brag, but you know, I worked at one of those fancy pants uh, coffee shops. Latte art, <laughs> I did it, I did it. It's like the kind of place you walk in, you see people taking sips of espresso and then closing their eyes. <laughs> Have you ever seen that where people like a sip of coffee and then are like, mm, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> They're treating it like a fine wine. They do that thing where they chew liquid, <laughs> fucking nuts. What are these flavors exploding in my palate? It's got like a cherry front palette with an unused master's degree in fine arts back palette with an astringent after birth or so I don't know. I was a barista for like a decade, no clue what I was saying 90% of the time. Chuck, 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 Chuck. Anyone else have a, almost a full beer? You want to race? Oh, this guy wants to race? All right, get up here. Get up here. Come on, bring this guy up here. Oh, you didn't know that I was going to bring you on stage and you were going to be a star. Jesus Christ, you're too tall. Will you kind of just... We kind of just... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, like more... There we go. More, more. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, right there. Okay, thank you. I accept. We're, we're getting married. Why don't you guys? Why don't you fucking tie the knot? They're like, this is our second date. Well, this is the first time I've ever met him, and I fucking love him. Mwah! I love this kid. What's your name? Uh, Duke. Duke. Give it up for Duke. He ain't no hazard in my book. All right. Uh, Duke, you got a full beer there? But, oh, yeah, hey, you want to get up here, too? Get him up here! Get this handsome fucking guy up here! Get up here. Get up here, yeah. What's your name? I'm Rob. Oh, Rob, God damn it! I am fucking surrounded by... I'm not even bisexual a little bit, but I think we're going to change that tonight. All right, let's go. Three, two, one! Attractive by association. That is how it works here. Well, that was good. I'm drunk now. Um, Wait a minute, Simon. I'm blind. I don't know who won. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> this taping is not going to be edited at all. So everything is going in there. See, we can't cut it out. I'm blind. Where are you? I'm here. Follow my voice. Follow my voice. Follow my voice that way. <laughs> Pandemic was tough for me and me alone. Like, did we all just like get old? Did, right? Didn't we just age? My fucking hair, jet gray, immediately. Still got up here though. <sighs> Thank God. I cannot afford to lose my hair. I know I am a short, fat man who comes fast. If I lose my hair, that's it for me, folks. That's it for me. 
And yeah, I come fast. Big whoop. Big whoop. Fellas, we all come fast. Every single man will come fast if he's attracted to you. That is just science. If your man ain't coming fast, he is cheating, okay? <laughs> Sorry, but I come quick. Whatever. I make up for it. I'm fucking putting in work down there, okay? I am putting in my time. I am clocking in with no clock out scheduled, okay? I'm fucking down there for a while. I'm like fucking Pac-Man down there. I'm just like... Hum, 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 hum. I'm singing Rock and Robin down there, okay? I'm down there, I'm just like, twiddly diddly doo doo, squiddly diddly doo, twiddly diddly doo, squiddly diddly doo, rocking in the clit top all day long, rocking in a clit and a clit in that song. How many times do you want to come? I don't care. I got all fucking night, baby. I will only look at a man. <laughs> I'm not, again, I will not get canceled here. But yeah, I come quick, whatever. I don't care. I just started telling him up top, you know? I sit him down, and I'm just like, hey, full disclosure. That is how I talk in the bedroom, by the way. Like a throwaway character from The Sopranos. I'm just like, hey, how you doing? You know you're really hot and shit. So I'm probably gonna nut quick. Cause you're so hot. Gabagool. She'll look back. I'm learning, I'm learning. And she'll be like, I'm not hot. I'm not even real. I was by myself the whole time, folks. By myself the whole time. That's what we call a Shyamalan twist. And pull and come into a towel or paper towel. I can't tell. I can't tell if this guy speaks English or not. I feel like I feel like I'm looking at him for approval, and it's not happening. I'm like, oh, he's like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> That joke is called M. Night Shama Come, so if you don't like it, that's on you. That's on you. But my hair did start going gray. Let's go back to that. It's kind of cool, because it does something to women that is pretty awesome. I, I went out on a date with a younger gal. I'm 37, so a younger gal, in my mind, is 28. That's my cutoff. If you don't know what Blockbuster Video is, I can't fuck you, okay? Unless you're here and you are uh, under 28, and then we'll figure it out, you know? We'll work it out, babe. We always do. But no, I, I went on a date with a younger gal, and uh, it was going great. Went back to my place, getting uh, pretty passionate, you know? Getting pretty hot and heavy, you know? Uh, hot and heavy, that's where I'm on top of her. And she says, uh, hey, you're pretty hot and heavy. Get off! I can't breathe, you fat. I can't breathe, you fat, coming this fall on Fox. But no, we're, you know, we're getting it on. And then she starts with the dirty talk. And I'm into dirty talk. I love that shit. I'm a fucking, I'm kink positive. Like, I'm a fucking freak. We have 30 years left on earth, okay? Let's get nuts, right? Put something up my ass, I don't care what it is, you know? I don't wanna know what it is. During the dirty talk... Am I actually a rotting corpse up here? I'm just being buzzed around by flies? Did that fly just like land on my head? Are you serious? It was right on my fucking forehead? What the fuck? That is going on the special. Who was that comedian who had like flies eating his fucking rotting flesh? <laughs> yeah, we're getting it on and flies just like shitting on my fucking eyeball. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it.
So we're getting it on Dirty Talk, whatever. But then she called me some shit that I have never heard before. When she said it, I was taken aback, you know? Because it is a very polarizing thing to call someone. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people love it too much. If you know it, please say it so I don't have to. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy thank you. <laughs> I found the freak right over there. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, she called me daddy. Ugh. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was like, I was like gross. Okay, well, don't control yourself too much. You might be talking to me after the show. Don't control yourself too much. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Daddy. Yes. Daddy. Yes. Yes, she called me daddy. And when she said that, I was like, Jesus Christ, that is disturbing how much it's making me come. Holy shit. Woo! Oh, God. It was... <laughs> it's too much now. The moment's passed. But when, upon further reflection, I was just like, why was that so hot to me? You know, you guys have been looking at me for a while. I don't give off daddy vibes. If anything, I would say I give off baby vibes. Like, if anything, I would say my vibe in the bedroom is I come and I just go, uh-oh, spaghetti -o. That's me when I come, I just start singing commercials from the 90s. I'm just like, I got the blues, Kraft macaroni and cheese. The blue ball blues. <laughs> pow, pow, power wheels. Pow, power wheels. I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. I don't know how old you are, but... I come and I just do an impression of Tim Allen. I'm just like, oh! <laughs> that was a bad impression. Speaking of impressions, I got some. So I'm a huge... I'm a big Frank Sinatra fan. Anyone else? You like Frank? Yeah. Love Frank. Equally, I love Tom Cruise. I don't give a shit. Okay? I love Tom Cruise. He is a five foot two action hero. Okay? That's an inspiration for me. If he can do it, why can't I? Because you're fat. Who said that? Okay. So this is my first impression. This is Frank Sinatra singing the theme song to Mission Impossible. Okay? All right, we're getting there. And before I start, I want you to know, Juilliard. Yeah, yeah, Juilliard, yeah. Yeah, should have gone there, but anyway. Here we go. Stop. Be silent. Stop. Ding dong, 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 ding dong. Squattily D! Squattily do! Squattily da! Squat up! Okay. Another impression. It's Frank Sinatra as well. This is Frank Sinatra singing the theme song to Jurassic Park. Come on. squat a -ling dong ding squat a -lau ping do All the dinosaurs are broads. Because they, they were all women in the movie. They were like, how are they laying these eggs? Last impression. Yeah, there'll be more. But last impression of this, uh, this is uh, Frank Sinatra. And somebody just uh, say a popular movie name and I'll sing it as Frank. Batman. No. <laughs> Star Wars. 
Star Wars, thank God, thank you. Thank you for getting it. It was always gonna be Star Wars. It was never not gonna be Star Wars. Thank you for getting it. All right, so by popular demand, overwhelming, I would say. By overwhelming demand, this is Frank Sinatra singing the theme song to Star Wars. <laughs> squaddly ding doo, squaddly ding dong, some of their nerd shit, you'll never get laid. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's it. This is, uh, you guys familiar with Gloria Estefan? Yeah, yeah we love Gloria Estefan, right? So this is Gloria Estefan. Uh, if, if she opened up her own used car dealership and she's doing her own commercials. Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, everybody, get a brand new Hyundai. No, I mean, it's actually a Honda. Come on, everybody, get a brand new Kia. Come on, everybody, get some kind of car. Bing, 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 bing. I hated it. Cut, take it out. Take it out of there. I don't want it in there. I don't want it in there. Last one before I move on. Yeah, Jesus. My watch, can you read that? It just says uh, six months to live. Okay. Anyway. All right, last, last one, and then I'll get back into the real what stuff. If, what if you did, uh, Great. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is, I wanted a, yeah, okay, a request? Yes. Yes. No, I don't. No. Don't you get shy now. What if you did? Oops, wait, I'm shy. What, what were you going to say? What if you did um, Sunny at Living in a higher pitch voice and then did car wash? Uh-huh. And... What if I did it in a higher voice and did car wash? Yeah, you just added car wash. Up. I don't know what's happening. Get her out of here. Get her the fuck out of here. No, no, you're great. You're great. What if I did it in a higher voice and I worked at a car wash? Well, after tonight, I probably will. I might work at a car wash. So you guys know that... I, this is going to be fucking bad, but... You guys know that band, Linkin Park? You guys know that band, Linkin Park? So this is... No. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm going to be cute now. Well, now I don't want to do it. Now I don't care about it. Can I have a... Okay. Okay. Hey, all right. Come on, give it up for him. I love this club. They let me drive drunk. <laughs> they don't care. What the hell you been waiting for? <laughs> what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> all right. So this is Lincoln Park. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth! I'm mad for real! I'm not. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Truly nothing matters at, at all. Okay. Stay with me. This is Linkin Park. But instead of the two regular singers, the singers are a British guy with a Cockney accent and then a guy from New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, shit, wait. Fuck. The guy from New Jersey is trying to recreate a family recipe. I can't believe I forgot that part. It's the most important part. Here we go. Oh. Can everyone snap at the same time? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Three, two, one. One thing, me don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard me try. Keep that in mind, me design is rhyme to remind myself. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it ain't my mom's meat sauce. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so stupid. Cut that out for real. <laughs> Cut that part out for real. You know, the last two years were tough for everyone. Uh, I went through a breakup, and I haven't checked or looked at her shit in over a year. Proud to say that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. What a hero, right? <laughs> I'm not stalking her? What a fucking <laughs> legend. 
I'm proud to say that. What I'm not proud to say is that I did start stalking her new boyfriend. And, oh man, that's usually death, but in this situation, it was the best thing I could have done. Because I don't know if you've ever seen somebody do something so embarrassing that you're just like, wow, this is who you're with? What the fuck? I looked at his Twitter. First of all, the guy had like 200 followers. <laughs> Fucking pathetic, you know? I was like, I got like twice that many. Fucking loser. And then from his Twitter, he had a link to his YouTube channel. And I followed that. And this guy, I should say, is a musician. The comedian's kryptonite, yes. No matter how famous you get as a comedian, your girlfriend will still leave you for the worst musician in the worst band in history. You could be the most famous comedian and your girlfriend will leave you for the backup bass player for Dave Matthews Band. That's just <laughs> the way of the world. And so he had uh, something on his YouTube where he was covering, you guys know that band Jimmy Eat World? Yeah. You guys know that band Jimmy Eat World? They had that one song, sing it if you know, it's like, it just takes some time, little bit of... Ow. Everything, everything will be just fine. Everything be all right, all right. He was covering that song, not on a guitar, but on a what? A kazoo. Oh, man. Oh, and he was bad at the kazoo. He was not good at it at all. He was horrible at it. And I saw that shit... 2.30 in the morning, spiraling on an air mattress, holding my phone above my face, you know? Where it drops, it'll break your nose, you know? I saw that shit, and I just immediately started laughing, hysterically. I saw him doing that on the kazoo, and I was just like... <laughs> I like this guy. Hey, Philadelphia, you guys have been great. Give it up for the staff. Give it up for all the comics. Give it up for me. If you want to buy any of my merch, I did not bring any, but you can just give me money. And I will, I will take it, and it's all going up here. It's all going up here. All right, use lift code whatever, and I'll see you in hell. Philly crowds are, you know, typically, I don't have a ton of experience, but in the short amount uh, that I've been able to do, I mean, people are just down. And, you know, I mean, New York, I feel like it's it's the same way. It's, uh, and then, but LA, I mean, it's just <laughs> such a shit show. I mean, everyone in the crowd essentially works in the entertainment industry. So it's like people are jaded, they're cynical, like they've heard it all, they've seen it all. So unless you're doing something so inside yeah it's just you know very too cool for school and you know and and this is what i tell people all the time like because i started out in los angeles like i didn't move there from another scene so i kind of feel like uh, like bane in a way you know where he says to batman he's like he's like you just adopted the darkness i was born into it so it's like i know how bad comedy can get because i, <laughs> I started there so like everything else anywhere else it's is pretty great by comparison. LA sucks. No, sorry. <laughs> now you're gonna, now it's my SNL fucking audition reel over here. I swear to God, don't judge me. I don't do impressions. I don't do them. No, I all hear, I, I hear it. I hear it in my head. Uh, yeah, a lot of times. <laughs> A lot of times, yeah, in in LA comedy, I, I do feel like uh, I feel like Bane in Batman, where I'm saying to stop, <laughs> what are you fucking doing? <laughs> For me, it feels like Bane in Batman, where it's you know, it's like uh, wait, let me SNL, here we come. 
Here it is, Lorne Michaels, listen. You just adopted the darkness. I was born into it. Ugh. And cast member, newest cast member. I swear to God, if I don't get it.